that almost looks like the motor ingested something, something hard, and the valve closed on it uh, down on the seat. Hey, welcome back to the channel. Really the next step on this 5.9 is to get these valves cleaned up and do some lapping and uh, basically get some stuff ready so we can assemble these heads. Before I can lap them and assemble them, I have to do a lot of cleanup. It's going to take a bit, and while I do it, I need to inspect the valves, make sure everything's good. Figure it's a good opportunity. We'll just take a look at the cleaning and inspection first and do that as one video, and then we'll uh, do lapping as a, a separate video. That way we don't get long-winded. So in this video, we're just going to inspect uh, the exhaust and intake valves, clean them up, and that's it. Then we'll do another video following this on lapping them and getting the heads ready. The valves that I pulled out of these heads, they look to be in really good shape. There's actually not much here. There's the two different sizes that we have. The intake are the larger, the exhaust are smaller. Oftentimes, especially if they're really old, intakes will get a bunch of carbon buildup here. If you've got uh, oil leaking down through the valve guides, it bakes on and really makes a mess here and limits flow. You can see this one is really, really clean. This motor didn't have many miles at all on it. Here's just a quick look at valves from two different motors. You can see this one here, that uh, face here, it's pretty clean. I mean, it's a little slick with oil, but that's just from uh, when I had disassembled it. Not too bad. And if you look at this one, this guy's got a lot of carbon deposits on it. I mean, that's not a lot. I've seen much, much worse. I've seen where they literally had like half an inch of carbon sticking out on these things. This one is not that bad. This indicates it's got higher miles, and so we were getting a little bit of oil weeping down this valve guide, and then it was baking on here. So that's what that's an indicator of. Gives you an idea as you're taking the motor apart just how bad a condition the valve guides in the head are. You can tell just by looking at the valves themselves. The exhausts, these are the ones that get really hot. Sometimes they will deform or split. I've seen, uh, you know, damage to these. This is typically what will have damage. We'll see when we lap these valves. We'll take a look at how they, uh, how they're fitting, and see if there's any, um, see if there's any problems with them. I don't suspect there is. They look pretty good, but we'll take a look. So we'll just clean some of these up. Pretty simple. I'm going to hit the wire wheel up here. We've just got a little bit of varnish from where it is above the um, the guide seal. You want to take a look at them, feel for any ridge here, and again down here where it rides in the valve guide itself. Then I'm going to clean up this with the wire wheel, clean up all the way around here, and then up on this side. Let's take a look at some of these exhaust valves. Recall that both these motors that I purchased were advertised as running. Now, I never heard or saw either one run, so always take that into account when you're buying a used motor. So here is uncleaned, just as pulled, an exhaust valve on one of them. Looks, you know, it's a little bit dirty. Doesn't look too bad. If you look at this face, it looks pretty good. That doesn't look too bad either. Here's one from the other motor. You can see it's got a whole bunch of buildup on it. In fact, this stuff is really thick and does not like to come off at all. And if you clean these two up, here's one out of the motor that has those nice clean ones. 
See if I can get it to focus here. Focus. There. If you look at that valve face right here, that looks, I mean, that's reasonable. That does not look bad. It's a little discolored, but nothing there bothers me at all. It cleaned up real nicely. Here's a cleaned one of those ones. Look at that face. I mean, it is just pitted and beat up, and it looks horrible. I suspect that this one, there's no way that I could lap that and get it clean. You could probably get it clean with a valve grinder. But if you don't have a valve grinder and you're uh, going to be basically uh, stuck with lapping of these, This one probably means you're going to be replacing your valves. I didn't uh, keep track of these, but I suspect that these came from the motor that had a cracked block. And I think all of this is from antifreeze leaking into the system and burning up. Not positive, but that's my suspicion. If you take a look at this intake valve, where was it? See, it's got pretty good ding in it right there. You kind of see it with that the light. See that? That's a uh, pretty surprising. That almost looks like the motor ingested something, something hard and the valve closed on it, uh, down on the seat. That definitely is not good. That'll cause leakage. Doesn't go all the way across the face, but we'll take a look at that as we're lapping these. Otherwise, the face of this looks a lot better. The exhaust valves take a lot more abuse. So that's all there is to it. I'm going to go through and clean up all of these. As a comparison, Here's that trash looking one here. And this is one just out of another LA head that I took out. You can see again, the face on this is nice and smooth. Doesn't look bad at all. This one looks like absolute garbage. So that's it. Our valves are all clean. We're ready to move on to the next step, which is going to be lapping the valve faces and the seats. Thanks for watching.